Let's go. Alright, so we have almost a full drive gauge. So, maybe this time we'll have better luck. Because if I can get him broken... If I can get a good a good start on this fight without him fucking my shit up... Alright, we got him. I knew I'd get him eventually. This this dude's a bitch and a half. Jesus. Like, if you don't want to grind out for other shit, you're just gonna have to fucking RNG the shit out of it. We got him. Get fucked, son. Holy shit. That was rough. Good lord, I have tried this boss so many fucking times. Good god. That, that is definitely, that's a final boss right there. That's, fuck. That was, that was terrible. Quest completed. You found the transporter to the top. Oh, Jesus. All right. So, uh, you might have noticed the last episode ended rather awkwardly. That's because I had gotten into a chain of losses against this fucking asshole. But it's over. It's also because I went back and grinded to level 82. Maybe I didn't need to. Maybe I did. Who the fuck knows? The point is, I fucking did it. I don't care. You're not going to convince me otherwise. I took that opportunity to do that. That made the most sense at the point at that point in time, and I said, screw it, might as well. Not sure if that was the greatest thing I could have done. I, I don't really know for sure. I'm sure someone's gonna tell me I could have spent my time better ways than grinding, but I mean, it is what it is. I, I took the opportunity. It made sense at that moment. I don't think he I don't think I have anything else that he has has equipped that he has equipped at the moment that would be any use to me outside of equipping another like like bone upper right cuz how often do I use magnum charge not often uh hammer beat might not be a bad idea though but bone upper I can actually like fully deck out All right, uh, did I, I'm pretty sure I saved it. So I didn't do much outside of that. Like I said before, there wasn't a lot for me to genuinely fucking do. It was mostly just getting a couple levels. I thought maybe that might make the fight a little easier for me. It didn't, not really. I feel a lot of that fight really does just boil down to like a ridiculous amount of RNG. Like, uh, now who in the world is the one with the HP up?
Alright, let's go. I have no idea what to expect. Onward and upward. I can sense Dixon. We must be near the top. If we proceed from here, we will be unable to return. Are you ready to go on? Yeah, thankfully I fucking saved it. So I'll just make sure I don't fuck up and uh, save over it. Let's fucking go. Yes, I'm ready. Aren't you scared? I would be lying if I said no. But still, we must go on. Agreed. We know what we're fighting for. We decided ages ago. <laughs> Dunban? Oh, sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. Come on, Dunban. Right, let's go. Time to seize our destiny. Mekon. They're on our side now. They used to be Homs, all of them. They may look different, but they all want the same thing as us. Juju, let's go. All right. So... I have reason to believe this next boss is somehow even more obnoxious, but you know what? Fuck it. It can't possibly be worse than what I just had to fucking go through, because that shit was absolutely ridiculous. Since spikes are... I don't think I even have anything to... I have, like, one thing to reduce damage from spikes, but I'm really just not interested in tanking my stats to do it. I have I do so much fucking damage now. It's kind of gross between my characters. I really have gone through the effort of making them more powerful. I just don't want to put any more work into this garbage. All right, game. Someone's going to die tonight and it's not going to be me. Dixon. Kept me waiting a while, Shulk. Waiting for us to fight you. Yeah, that's what it's come to. Or will you just shut up and let me kill you? We'll never do that. Just as I expected. Hmm. Wouldn't have it any other way. I've been working for Lord Zanza since the beginning. I raised you purely so he could live on. I know. And I must thank you for granting me such power. It's all down to you that I'm standing here, ready for you now. Enough talk, boy. <gasps> yeah. 
Dixon! If you're so determined to stop us, then we will kill you! Fuck you, Dixon. You're nowhere near as tough as the last asshole I had to kill. But guess what, dickhead? You get to die. Mainnet's power. Not her power. Huh? I've inherited her memories. That's why I fight you. Fiora. Memories, huh? And what good are those meant to be? Can't use memories to kill anyone. Why are you fighting? You're helping Zanza to create a world where nothing exists. What could you possibly hope to get out of it? Yeah. Only those with power have the right to decide such things. You're wrong. Zanza just tells me where to fight and I fight. And that's how I like it. Is that your reason? For fighting? It's the only reason. Maynath wished for a world where the peoples of Bionis and Mechonis could live hand in hand. You will never get away with this! Is that right? Then what are you gonna do about it in that feeble fight? <laughs> that body doesn't have a Bernardo anymore. Who knows how much life it's got in it? Hey, better say uh, goodbyes. It can't be. <sighs> I'm fine. Uh, I'll carry on fighting beside you until the very end. Fiora. Well then, we better make this quick. <laughs> Little boy lost his Monado and can't do a thing without it. Be careful. Well, you can't. It's time to learn your play. <gasps> <laughs> of scum. Ah. No, Ricky, no. Ricky, no Shulk brave. Ricky want to see the old Shulk. Shulk is real hero upon. Shulk! Real power comes from within. Believe in your own true strength, Shulk. 
everyone. Shulk. It's time, Shulk. Let's finish this. I will not fail. With your faith in me and our strength combined, we can do this. Sure. You ever gonna make this worth my while? All right, old men got to die. Impossible without the Manada. Face me. Stand and fight. Still got some fight in you, then. I'm done. I'm going home. Dixon. 
I just wanted the power of a god. This martyr stuff's not for me. Go! I ain't gonna risk my life to stop ya. Get back here! You expect us to let you go? What? Enough. It's Sansa we're after. Not him. Uh, okay. so strong I ain't gonna let you see me die I won't give you the satisfaction of victory see ya kid looks like the student finally surpassed the teacher Shulk, his wounds. Why? Why can I not see any further? Now that I possess both Monados, I should be at one with the passage of fate. Why does the vision end here? Huh? So Dixon has passed. Lorothea too. How can this be? Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. A world that has no need for gods? <laughs> there is no world without a god. This world belongs to me! Where are we? What happened? It's night time. Is Ricky have bad dream? Look down. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's no land or sea either. Well, everybody, it has been one fuck of a journey. But here we are in outer fucking space. Jesus, this game gets fucking ridiculous. We have one more asshole we gotta get rid of, and that's Zanza. So let's make our way to him, shall we? At this point, there's nothing I can imagine is gonna pop up now that's going to make this any worse of an occasion for me. Mumkar spirit. Alright. I'd be concerned about Mumkar if I hadn't already murdered you. Bye, Mumkar. 
Nice knowing you, homeboy. Moving on. God, I can't believe it. The game's almost over. And I have so many more spirits to murder. Jupiter. So, admittedly, I'm probably, like, grossly over-leveled. Well, that, that grossly. I think most people beat this game at around 80. I think I looked up Chugga Conroy's playthrough, and he was about 80 by the time he got to this point. So, I'm probably about where I should be. Just a, just a little higher than him, honestly. Zord. All right, you. God, I haven't thought about you in a long time. Jesus. Sup, homeboy? All right, guys, get the aggro, please. Get the aggro, please. Thank you. Uh, it's so good to not deal with bullshit anymore. I can murder you the old fucking fashion way. See ya. No, it really is. It's not. It's not pushing me at all if we're 100% honest with ourselves. Honestly, I'm not really being pushed. There's no pushing to be done here. How can they possibly push someone who has pushed beyond their limits? At this point, the only way this game is going to push me is if I let it push me, and it's not going to push me. So unless, unless this final dickhead I have to murder turns out to be a real pain in my ass, which is possible, unlikely, but fucking possible, you know, I'll be surprised. I'm, I'm allowed to be surprised. I've earned that right. All right, you gotta die. Fuck it. Well, he's dead. That makes three. All right, come on. Get... Actually, so what was? Oh, I you cannot go back. Yeah, wow, they were fucking kidding. You can't go back anywhere, can you? You just, you are fucked. Good thing I saved it before the save point, before the uh, the finality, right? At that point, the game was not kidding. The game meant it. You really can't go back. I'm at the point of no fucking return, aren't I? Oh, the moon. Cool. Wait, we started at fucking Saturn. Jesus. Ah, Gado. Gado. Uh, nice to see you, homeboy. Look, man, I know this is gonna suck for you, but uh, I've already murdered you once. So, uh, do us all a favor and just die. Will ya? Appreciate ya. Wow. Okay. That was that was cool. Didn't really work out for you though. Although I'm really before we get to the end, I need to go through and check my skill trees real quick just to make sure I have pretty good skills across the board. I'm also going to do some checks on what I need to have equipped real quick before we go any further. Just to make sure that we uh our bases are all fucking covered at this point. I should be fine, but it doesn't hurt to check. So, uh, I'll be right back.
Well, not much more I can do now, right? I mean, at this point, you might as well just keep going. There's nothing else I can really do. All right, Zanza, prepare to die.
It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? So, you finally made it, Shulk. <gasps> it's you. What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ugh. Welcome, Shulk. Shulk. That voice! It's Zanza! But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings! Playthings? Yes! You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them. I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings, for that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. Bionis is nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still can find you to Prison Island that is how limited you are. Confined me. I was merely resting there for a while. I was wounded in the battle with Maynard's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel, revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until I was born. Precisely. I intended to inhabit your body and once again do battle with Maynith. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynith. You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. Never! I don't want to be your vessel or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Homs, in a world without you! That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain limited. Using one's power to change the world, that is a right possessed only by gods. Is that why you laid waste to Makonis? Of course. Along with the beings called Machina, who followed Maynard. 
They had evolved and become insolent under her protection. <laughs> so you're saying us Homs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Homs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship. But granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected. It appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telepia will exterminate all life on Bionis. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you! Motherfucker, let's rock. Sorry, dickhead. How can you still have visions? Easy. Got it. Keep it up. Uh -huh. It's my place. You uh -huh. you I'm not hey, buddy, alone. guess what? Take it. You mere vessels dare to oppose the will of a god. Then I shall obliterate everything with my unimaginable power. shape the future. Give up. 
timing is everything. Remember that. Can you have visions? You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That is a right for gods, and gods only! Why should we care? What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! Can it be? It is not only you that has the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third of Monado has appeared. How can this have happened? You are mere mortals! Your existence cannot be permitted. I will destroy you! Be overcome! Zanza, this is the providence of the world. Even gods are merely beings restricted to the limited power determined by providence. That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice! Albus! How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. And I will proclaim the end. But that... that's impossible. 
Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something I decided long ago! our power to fell a god and then seize our destiny all that i am is fading the memory of a god's existence Born from the chaos of creation, it is vanishing. Where am I? This is my home. Your home. Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! And that voice? It's Maynath. Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe! We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to the divine. It was simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so, two gods came into existence. Zanza and Maynath were lonely, so they created life in their own image. And that was how we were born. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future and our future. It might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shulk. Alvis, what are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility. But that will mean little to you. To you, I am a machine. That is my original form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you, its new god. What is your wish? 
Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying, sometimes arguing. Sounds all right? Yes, <laughs> he's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing! Ricky want to have fun! Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. That's our world. Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. Apologies. However, I have good reason. This world has little time remaining if left in this state. Have you made your decision? The choice is yours, Creator. Tell me your decision for the future of this world. I won't decide. The future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... A world with no gods! trying to kill me oh, I'm really sorry Colonel sorry what do you mean sorry <laughs> squat jumps around the entire colony 50 laps now please Colonel. ah yes that's excellent so you can take the materials to district 4 the restorations coming along nicely thanks to Melia and Venea the High Intia and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. 
to live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt this is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Hear, hear. And may it last forever. Dunban? Fiora, what is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, but he was with Ryan and the others. Okay, thank you. Fiora? Yes? Uh... It's nothing. Good luck. If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Amazing! It's like you've got eyes in the back of your head. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. We've been through a lot. Yes. We have. I am grateful to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much. And it is the reason I am here now. Yes. We're happy you're here too. Thanks, Melia. For everything. I'm glad I met you. Hmm. <laughs> And I, you. Yes! All most... Go, Go Rain! Go, Rain! Oh, Ricky, really Go hungry! On. Put your oh. back into it, Rain! Oh. Are you okay? What's up with the water being so salty? Ryan, you're terrible at this. <gasps> when was the last time you fished? <laughs> I'm a bad fisherman. Ricky won't eat big fish. Give us a break. You try next time, Purple. Fishing is Ryan's job. Ricky's job is eating. <sighs> Hang on a sec. Isn't Oka gonna have a massive go at you if you don't go back to her with 14 fish to feed all your little pond? Oh, Ricky forgot! Wifey pond very angry if not catch more fish! It ain't me she's gonna be angry with. No! Ryan, catch fish! Catch fish what? now! Oh, fish! <laughs> What is it? Oh, uh, that hairstyle. It, it looks good on you, that's all. Yeah. Really? Oh, I was thinking about growing it out, but... Hey, which do you prefer? Both, of course. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to say to that? Sorry. Okay. It's great like that. Don't change it. <sighs> I'd forgotten what it feels like to do this. I wonder what the future has in store for us. Who knows? I'm sure it will be full of ups and downs. Ups and downs? I don't know what the future holds. 
But that means I can imagine the possibilities. We can achieve anything we put our minds to. Yeah. You're right. Do you remember what the Monado, I mean Alvis, said to us the last time we saw him? Yes, of course. Shook. This new world is boundless. It is home to not only you, but many forms of life. I can see it. In this world, all life will walk towards the future, hand in hand. One day, I hope I can meet them all. The people of this endless world. Me too. We will. I know it. Mm -hmm. We'll meet them. And whatever happens, we'll face our future together. <laughs>